Hi, Steve Stein from Guitar Zoom here, and welcome to my beginner guitar course video lesson series here on YouTube. Um, in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about the guitar pick and how to hold it properly to prepare us to start making some music. Now, if you've just stumbled upon this video, please understand there's a whole playlist uh, of how to learn how to play guitar in chronological order. Okay, I've created an entire guitar course um, here on YouTube that's going to help you to not only understand what to practice, but what order to practice things with as well. So go ahead and get prepared, and let's uh, if you've got a guitar pick laying around, go ahead and grab it, and let's talk about that. Okay, so the only thing really standing between you and your guitar is this little thing here, which is called a guitar pick. Now, guitar picks come in various different sizes. Sometimes they're very, very thick. Sometimes they're very thin, sometimes they're very big, sometimes they're very small. It's not my job to tell you what is best for you because I don't know what's best for you, okay? But I will give you some tips about guitar picks. If you're just starting out playing, oftentimes it's nice to have a little bit bigger pick because it's, it's, it's easier to grab onto it. And sometimes it's easier to have a little bit thinner pick because when you first start learning how to strum, the pick itself will bend a little bit and give you a little bit of relief. If you've got a really, really, really hard pick when you strum those strings, sometimes it can be intimidating because you just smack those strings and it's really loud. Now it's different for everybody, but it's just something to think about. What I often recommend is if you're kind of new to this whole thing, maybe go to your local guitar store or for your birthday or Christmas or whatever it would be, get a different, you know, a bunch of different guitar picks and just try some out. And it's okay if you keep changing your mind, right? If next week you like this pick better than that one, that's okay. That's half the fun of this thing, okay? But as you keep playing, you're going to start finding some things that seem like they work better than others. So what we want to do right now is I'm going to show you the guitar pick that I'm using and how I hold on to this. So basically what happens is you'll notice that I've got the guitar pick between my first finger and my thumb. And my other fingers are out of the way. So I'm not holding on to the pick with all my fingers like this, okay? I want to use these other fingers. We can actually learn to, to pick and use our fingers at the same time for all sorts of different things. So I just want to learn how to hold on to the guitar pick with my first finger and my thumb if possible. Now the way I try and tell people is if you think about it, if I was pointing at you right now, what I could do is I could put this pick on my finger and have the pick facing you as well. The, the pointy end of the pick is going to be facing you as well. So they're both now facing you. I know it's kind of hard to see. Okay. And then what I do is I turn over and my thumb comes over the top. So between my first finger and my thumb, just like this, I place the guitar pick in there. So the guitar pick is now facing this direction. Okay. If you think about when, if it was pointing at you and I turn, now it's pointing that direction. Okay, and it takes a little while to get used to, and the point is, no pun intended, when I come up to the guitar and I'm going to strum, what I want you to notice is how I don't have to change my wrist position to get the pointy end of the pick to face these strings. Okay, so if I can show you this a little bit here, if you can see, I'm kind of just running parallel with the strings right now. Okay, so I don't have to do this with my wrist, you know, or anything like that. I can just kind of lay across here like I normally do. Okay. And now as I'm moving my wrist back and forth or moving my arm back and forth, the pointy end of the pick is now facing those strings. So it takes a little bit to get used to. And oftentimes when people first, you know, try and do this, the guitar pick will fly out of their fingers or go inside the sound hole, which happens about a thousand times. And it's okay. Okay. It's all part of the learning process. But as you keep playing, again, what you want to really figure out is, do you want a bigger sized pick or a little sized pick? And it all depends on your hand size. And it, like I said, don't stress about it when you first start playing. Just get a standard size pick, like a Fender, just a standard Fender size pick. Um, and then try some different thicknesses. Try a medium, you know, try something a little bit heavier, try something a little lighter. But like I said, when you first start playing, it is nice to have a little bit thinner guitar pick because the guitar pick will flex. It'll move as you strum and it, it won't make the guitar so loud when you strum because some people get intimidated by that. And uh, again, as you keep going, you can always comment below and we can start up conversations about all of these things. 
and uh, continue trying to help you, okay? So that's how you hold a guitar pick. Now make sure that um, if you're looking for some more training, if you click on the, there's a, down in, in uh, the description below, there's actually a link for you to get a free guitar course from me. So please make sure that you check that out as well.